There once was a time when the first person shooter wasn't a broken microtransaction casino filled with the beta male cackles of man children and the whining of, well, actual children. It was a different world where FPS games existed inside a small box, a shiny silver disc, or could be summoned by typing mysterious text into a black void known as DOS. Instead of a hundred people in a giant online arena, anonymous and protected from the horrors of the outside world, these classics were single player. There was no YouTube and barely any internet at all. If a game had co-op, you would have to journey over to your friend's actual house and have a small chat with their mother. These mysterious shooters had names like Heretic, Disruptor, and Turok. Mazes filled with danger and secrets awaited you. Some even had exploration and puzzle solving. Sometimes they even filmed real actors. Okay, little brother. This is your last chance to change your mind and go home. I didn't graduate top ten from the academy to take some desk job, sir. Your dad would have been proud of you grades. But school's over and now the real lessons begin. Are you ready for your first training mission, Private? Sir, yes, sir! The nostalgia that exemplified the classic first-person shooter is personified in Power Slave from 1996, released by Lobotomy Software and Playmates Interactive. It was brought to the Sega Saturn and PC first, and then on to the PlayStation in 97. Power Slave was recently released on Steam in the form of Power Slave Exhumed. It's a remastered edition of the game brought to you by Night Dive Studios, who also remastered the first two Turok games to great acclaim. Something has taken over the ancient Egyptian city of Karnak, and you have been separated from your team of hardened soldiers. You stumble upon the crypt of the Egyptian god Ramses, who commissions you to go out and save the world. I would also like to add that the game is narrated by the awesome Don LaFontaine. May he rest in peace. During the time of the pharaohs, the city of Karnak was a shining example of civilization that all other nations could only hope to emulate. The game has been given an upgrade, now in 60 FPS and widescreen HD, and runs with modern controller and PC controls. You get to run around in levels, shooting things, finding door keys, and smashing pots for items. All of your gun's ammo is refilled by finding transparent blue orbs, and you have an actual health bar that is refilled with red orbs. It has Metroidvania elements like finding relics that enhance your jumping ability, underwater breathing, and others allowing you access to the next mission or area. You will even go back to levels you've previously visited to find a new way forward with your new upgrades. This game captures a bit of the adventure that is sorely missing from the modern shooter and keeps you in suspense about what is around the next corner. It's worth the $20 to revisit a classic or just to play something that avoids all the mess of the modern FPS. There are a few hit detection problems, but it holds up so well for a game that is 26 years old. I could be having a midlife crisis, but I fell in love with FPS games because they had adventure, mystery, action, and anticipation. It wasn't about just a quick 30 minute session. These games were built to last. Some of them were many hours long and took me a lot of time to find collectibles, solve puzzles, and shoot all of the enemies. They were a bit experimental, but the genre was still new and they were made by people who wanted to make a cool sci-fi or fantasy shooter. Despite the graphics still coming into their own, I really enjoyed the immersive experience. Wolfenstein and Doom had created a new genre in the 90s. They weren't just rehashing and marketing the same thing over and over so children could max out their parents' credit card. If you like first-person shooters but are feeling sad because Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty this year were samey, broken, lazy, overhyped cash grabs, then try going on Steam. There are new games similar to old classics and remasters. Games like A Medieval, Turok, and of course, Power Slave. These are games made with passion, care, and attention. You may actually find something to love again. This is Dan T from Twisted Banana Productions, signing off to go grab some blue orbs and a health pack with a giant red plus on it. Wow.